there, everybody. Eric here from Outer Limitless coming at you with a knife review for a blade that I highly recommend. You know, sometimes uh, you pick an activity, and when you pick the activity, you decide what blade you want to bring with you. Well, this particular blade, actually, I choose, and then I go do my activity. So um, I like this blade so much that... Uh, you know, I'm excited to use it and I try to come up with reasons to put it in my hand. And that blade today is the Benchmade Contigo. This Benchmade is the 183 fixed blade Contigo. It comes with multiple blade colors and also uh, serrated, partially serrated or plain blade. Now I have the satin finish with a plain edge. I, for the most part, like plain edges on my fixed blades, and I very, very rarely get one in my hands with serrations, and so this is no exception. Uh, this is S30V Steel, which Benchmade seems to do a, a very nice job with. I have a few uh, S30V Benchmades now, and I'm happy with all of them, and this one very much in particular beautiful uh, G10 handle scales, nice little jimping on the back, interesting lines, unique blade shape for sure, nice little notch so you can sharpen that edge all the way to the back, scalloped handle scales, very ergonomic. I love this blade. And like I said before, I'm always looking for an excuse to put this in my hands. Now, I'm not really sure how to classify this blade. I don't know if it's tactical. I mean, it's not really a wilderness blade. It's actually pretty interesting and unique in a lot of ways, and so it's really hard to classify. I mean, all I can honestly say is, um, you know, I, I haven't really used it for heavy bushcraft use. Um, you know, I don't find that I'm trying to baton with this. Uh, you know, I kind of use it more for general camp tasks and, you know, cutting tasks and things like that. Um, I have used it for quite a bit of uh, feather sticks and for light carving, but I've never really batoned with it, and nor do I really think I want to. Um, you know, I'm not sure, and I don't have the experience to say whether or not S30V can hold up to uh, rigorous batoning. I mean, this certainly has the length to do a pretty good job, but at the same time, you end up with this uh, kind of funky spine here. Try to get that more into focus for you. Uh, where it gets really narrow in spots and then flares out and gets really fine at the tip again. And so, I don't know, I just felt like this thing would really beat the snot out of my baton. And uh, between that and how fine the edge is, I never really wanted to baton with it. And, um, you know, while I'm looking at it here, I mean, I've used this blade a ton and I mean, look at that finish. This thing practically looks brand new. So, I mean, it's just, it just shows the quality of this blade and, you know, how nice it is. And I don't know, it's just so nice. I really, I don't want to damage it. So, you know, I found as though I, I didn't really want to baton with it. And if I'm going to baton, I have other blades that'll do a mighty nice job. So, as I said, with this knife, a lot of times I'll actually come up with reasons to use it and one of the reasons I found lately was that I just wanted to cook. I know it sounds kind of funny but this knife is such a nice slicer and it does such a great job and it feels so good in my hands. I just said hey you know what I feel like cooking so I can use my blade and so um, you know that just sort of speaks to the uh, you know the, the quality and the comfort the unique uh, lines, shape, feel, design, uh, all above, um, you know, just with this Benchmade 183 Contigo. I also find that more than any of my other blades, I actually take this to the dinner table with me because I just want to use it. I mean, I have plenty of steak knives, but you know what? I think I'd rather use my Contigo. I mean, it just feels good in my hand. It's a perfect size does a great job cutting and slicing. It's just a joy. So anyway, like I said, I mean, it, you know, I find reasons to want to use this thing. And, uh, you know, more than most of my other blades, this is the one I go to.
This fixed blade Contigo comes with an interesting sheath. Um, I mean, a lot of what you see here is just kind of style. You know, this ramp here is style. Um, you know, obviously you end up with um, this molded plastic here, which has a lot of lashing points, has some, you know, nice open cuts um, that you can put straps or paracord through and then uh, an, an ample amount of eyelets that, you know, you could potentially mount different locks on if you want to. Now the back is kind of different. I've never really seen this on another sheath. Um, there's potentially other Benchmade sheaths that do this and I'm not really sure. Um, I bought my Contigo used and only got one of these straps. I believe for the most part these straps tend to be used um, in the opposite direction where I've actually taken uh, my Molly strap here and created almost like a dangler setup so that the knife will ride a little bit lower on my hip and that has seemed to work very nice for me. And so um, it is a, a great sheath, very durable, nice quality, perfectly form fit and uh, kind of cool. So that gives you a quick look at the sheath setup and now I'll show it to you on my hip. So as I mentioned, I tend to use this as somewhat of a dangler style. I guess it's almost like a hybrid design um, where, you know, I'm not exactly wearing it directly on my belt loop, but then it is almost like a fixed dangler, so it doesn't have too much in the way of sway. Fits real nice right at my side. You know, I can adjust it to where I want, um, but I find I tend to wear it right on my hip. You do end up with a little thumb ramp that allows you to push off. So I like that, you know, it's pretty easy. I usually will grab with two hands just to keep things in check. You get a nice little solid click, no rattle. I mean, a tiny little bit of rattle, but nothing that's gonna bother you. And so um, for me, this has been comfortable, really easy, um, nice draw. And again, when you wanna put it away, real easy, no problem, nothing to it. So the bench made fixed blade Contigo 183 satin finish plain edge it's a thing of beauty you know if you guys have ever seen Crockett 20's uh, channel he did a great video on this same knife now he had the black surface coating and so um, just a slight difference but other than that um, an excellent review uh, he does a whole bunch of bushcraft tasks with this he gives it rave reviews um, and unfortunately, I think in that video, he actually got bit by the knife. So Crockett, watch out, buddy. You know what happens when you've been bit once and these things taste blood. You got to watch yourself because I feel like once they've tasted blood, they're hungry for more. And so anyway, uh, just a little fun there. But um, definitely check out Crockett 20's video. He does an amazingly nice job and shows a ton of bushcraft tasks. All right, guys. I appreciate you checking it out. I hope you like what you saw. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.